Welcome back to Wallington Filming, Paint and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the videos they don't want you to see. Hosted by, yours truly, The Candleman. Oh, just driving work at uh, 8.30 in the morning, coming into the village. Right, bloody freezing out here, about ready for a cup of tea. On day four of the toilet restoration project. Out ready to do a bit of painting now. I'm just gonna uh, just go over this plaster work with a bit of fine surface sandpaper. Just give it a check over it and uh, and get a coat on it and see if I need to fill anything. Like I say, I'm not the best plasterer in the world, so I might need to do a bit of fine surface filling on the plaster work, but it looks good when it's like nearly dried on it. Eh? So Gonna do that and finish that skirting board off down there. So let's get a bit. So I'd add this to the video when you've got these um, old tin systems that go to these toilets. This is what you need to think about is going to happen to it over the years. See that's all rusting, you see. Right. It's not going to last forever, and. Uh, that's the lid there, look. Look at that. I think I better get a few coats of oil based undercoat, don't you? And uh, that as well. I'd sort of like to see that. I just can't take it anymore. I'm not gonna have a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a cup of tablets. I've had enough of this game. Fuck it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna finish it. Right then, guys. Just thought I'd give you a bit of an update of where I've got to. As you can probably see, I've uh, put a coat of white on all this plaster work, and I've fine surface filled it. You know, any any bits where I thought you know need a bit of fine surface filler, I filled them, which basically looks like a patchwork quilt now don't it? <laughs> and the walls have all been filled you probably remember that section there <clears throat> I've filled all that out filled all all both walls have been completely like basically they've been filled all over the place especially down here this was a bit of a mess as well and up there was a bit of a mess so like I say, got a coat on that, filled up what I think needs filling, filled all the walls, so I'm gonna rub these down in a minute because I wanna get some paper, uh, wallpaper on here tomorrow, which will be day five, won't it? Jesus, five days. I'm gonna be in here about another three days in total, I think. Finish that bit of skirting board down there, and uh, I've also put a little shelf up there. So I'm, I'm going to show you that now, and uh, yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Right, let me just give you a little bit of a close up here. As you can see, all that white area I've done there, you know, I've just gone over it with a fine tooth comb and filled every imperfection I could find. Same all on that, which I've coated up in white. And remember that section there? Yeah, filled all that out, filled all the holes and cracks and everything in there, you know, not bad for a 300 year old wall. Same there, gunned all the skirting boards up, sorted that bit of skirting board out there. I'm going to actually get a coat of primer on these skirts, you know, just on the top of that there. I'm going to get them all taped up, carpet all taped up and get a coat of primer on there. So yeah, and I've also put a little bit of a shelf there. Yeah. You know, I've had to hold it up with the six inch now, but what can you do? So yeah, stay tuned. 
Right then guys, what I'm doing now is I'm going to size these walls with some wallpaper paste that's slightly thin so it uh, soaks into all this filler and uh, seals everything up because if I just paper, if I just paste the paper and put it on as it is, most of the um, paste on the paper will soak into the filler and it'll end up not sticking. So I basically, I've just got me, me stop brush, a little bit big, I know, but not to worry. And I'm just putting a thin coat of paste all over the wall. <clears throat> now you will need to allow this to dry off before you start papering. And I'm just going up to the white, I'm not hitting the white. It's just basically to seal the <clears throat> any absorbent areas on the wall, which on this particular wall would be quite a lot of because it's full of filler. And the reason I'm using a reason I'm using a brush for this, I mean I normally roll the roll the walls with a size paste, the sizing paste. But I'm not gonna roll these walls because you know you get a bit of suction from a roller and it could start pulling stuff off the wall. And I don't want to pull the pull all the filler out. So we're just doing this bottom section which I don't think you can see. Yeah, you must, you've got an old building like this, or even, even if you're doing a newly plastered wall, you want to be sizing, sizing the plaster, which is basically sealing it up, ready for the, ready for the paper. So I just want some thin down paste, and just coat the wall up, nice even coat just to seal up the fill off or plaster work. Right, that's it. I'll do the other wall now, but I won't do it. I'm just getting ready now to uh, unwrap the paper and uh, start measuring it up so I can paper this wall. Uh, just sort of show you what I'm putting on, putting this super fresco, paintable stuff on. One thing you should bear in mind if you need more than one roll is like, the pattern number or batch number make sure you get them the same on every roll and with this one uh, there's no no match so fantastic so if I run out of paper towards the end I can just bodge it no not really I'll have to get another roll but yeah that's one point up super fresco right just putting the final length of fresco on the wall uh, just make sure you follow the uh, soaking times on the label of the paper. So let's put the last length on. Like I say no no match. Mm -hmm. to use my four inch brush as a wallpapering brush. You know it come in handy. 
Call Vaughn Noodle. Just as good though. So I put the paper on, mark my cuts. Scissors. Sure, you get all them <clears throat> air bubbles out. And get yourself a clean uh, <clears throat> clean wet sponge. Just give the paper a bit of a wipe over. You'll be able to feel if there's any more bumps left in it. Wipe your top of your skirting. And just go over that again in a minute with another clean sponge and that's the paper and done so what i'm going to do next is where the paper meets the white i'm going to recut that in and get the heater on and get that dry so i can cut in the wall color but i just need to let this paper go dry off for a good few minutes first and now i'm going to recut all the white in so <laughs> see all right there you go guys all papered not much of a pattern on it but you know i've done bumps in the walls don't it? it's still drying obviously oh yeah it's starting to take shape now just going to cut the white in to the wallpaper so that's drying off right then guys what i'm doing now though i'm cutting the white in to the wallpaper so that'll dry which will allow me in an hour or so to cut in the wall colour to the white so this is why we do this this is a job you need to get done quite quick you see so I've just wallpapered that that's dry now to put a coat of paint on also helps because of the paste that's hit the wall as well so it don't have to give it a fresh coat does it so you're sealing that gap from the wallpaper to the white so you get a nice finish and it, like i say it's a job once doing quite quick because you know i want to get the walls coated up so Once 
once this white's dry, I can actually cut in the wall colour to the white. Right, so that's that. I've done that top section up there. And that section there. Right, and so that's all the white cut into the wallpaper. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wait for that to dry, and then I'm going to cut in the wall colour in the whole room. So, yeah, in a minute. Right, guys, end of day five, just about ready to pack up and go home. Friday, lovely, weekend ahead. Right, progress report, papered the walls, Um undercoated all the frame, door, skirting boards uh, and cut in the arm and white to the white. So the reason I've not coated the walls up is because paper's still a bit wet, you know, so I'll leave the main surface of the wall until Monday, get two coats on that and gloss it up and that's it, jobs are good in six days. To do the toilet long time i know but you know restoration project these you have to allow for that sort of thing so yeah basically that's it end of day five see you monday hi right, guys monday morning and time to start work boring i know <sighs> hate mondays it means i've got another four days left after this but anyway progress report just going to get a coat first coat on these walls uh, and wait for them to dry, coat them up again and get everywhere glossed up and that's a good one. So yeah, about three quarters of a day today and we're finished. So six days. So let's get the walls paid up. Oh, and as you can see, I've actually put a coat of undercoat, rub that down, put a coat of undercoat on there. And put a second undercoat on that, it's just wet that is, it's not gloss, it's just wet. So that should protect that for a bit longer. Right then, there it is, all glossed up and all finished. Hey, trust me, looks a million dollars now. But let me get you close up. And that door's been glossed there. And it's all about knowing the little bits and bobs that the customer likes. You know, pick, you know, that you get to know them over the years. And as you see that old lock, you see? So I've just glossed that. Because little things like that he picks up. Which is okay by me. <coughs> and there you go. Skating board all on. There you go. And I can't believe, I've got a feeling he's not going to have a new carpet. And that looks shit, doesn't it, like that? Because he's on about getting a bit and patching up in that corner. Really, should have had a new carpet down. Or a new liner or whatever. Because that's what I would have done. 
So skirting board on, there weren't no skirting board on there before. Painted the inside lid of that cistern and everything. Uh, that's all plasterboard and skimmed over there. Same with that section there. Wallpaper both walls. That shelf was added. So they're happy with that, you see. And here's a little thing you should, you know, he likes doing on this cottage. Just black these little things off on the window. You know, he'll pick up on that. You can have an hole in the wall, but he won't spot it. Or won't say out. But he'll pick them bits up. And then, it's all nicely plastered out now. Now, nice little shelf up there, you see. So yeah, there it is. All done. Doors all nicely glossed. And uh, to anybody that knows me, yes, I did use real undercoat, not acker. All right, mate. So there you go. All finished. Six days. Toilet restoration. Right then, boys and girls. That's it. Day six. Toilet restoration project. All finished. Yeah, completely finished. Um. Just finished glossing up, just got my kit to pack away. You know, should be gone for about half two. So that'll be nice, won't it? Get a few jobs done, do you know what I mean? So, hope you've enjoyed this little series of videos of this restoration project on a, what, I don't know, two, three hundred year old cottage, whatever it is. Uh, been, quite it been quite exciting for me. I've enjoyed it. You know, a bit of moving tiles, plasterboarding, plastering, papering, painting. So yeah, it's been all right. Better than house bashing by far, Jesus. I hate that game, it's crap, isn't it? I'm thinking of going on day work anyway. Because by the time you've like worked out your your books at the end of the year, divided it by about 48 weeks, you're on day work money anyway. So, you know. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been, uh, been a lot better than doing the house bashing. Balls the shit out of me, that does. So, yeah, nice one. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, till next time, from yours truly, the candle man. Catch you later. Right then, hope you've enjoyed this little series of videos on the restoration of an upstairs toilet in a three, 300 year old cottage so yeah so don't forget to like subscribe and comment uh, until next time catch you later